At Indoor Biotechnologies, we harness our science and creativity together with a sort of entrepreneurial business approach uh, to develop new products for our customers in allergy, in asthma, uh, and also in the indoor air quality industry. We detect allergens in environmental samples. We uh, do basic research in allergen structure. We produce purified natural and recombinant allergens that then researchers can use in their work on allergens. Allergies are growing um, in various parts of the world. They have different problems. Over 10% of children in the United States uh, suffer from, from asthma. And uh, one of the major risk factors for asthma is uh, exposure to indoor allergens. We focus on indoor allergens primarily because these are the most important allergens associated with asthma. 80% of asthmatics are allergic to indoor allergens. We spend 95% of our time now um, as, a, as a population, as a Western population, indoors. And so you really need to look at exposure assessment to try and work out what is the role of allergens in causing the disease. And that's now been done using our technology. The ELISA assay is a monoclonal antibody-based technique that we use to uh, measure different allergens in uh, biological samples. Um, it's been the gold standard for 25 years for allergen detection. We're looking for the concentration of allergen in each of the, the samples that we're testing. We run thousands of samples a year for several different types of customers, university, pharmaceutical, indoor air quality customers, and sometimes just the average person wanting to know what's in their house. The MARIA technology is an abbreviation for Multiplex Array for Indoor Allergens enables us to measure all the important indoor allergens in the single test. This technology has been particularly useful for large population-based surveys where researchers are interested in measuring hundreds or even thousands of samples for a whole range of allergens. We can run 200 samples for, for all allergens in just two or three days as opposed to about a month beforehand. In addition to the allergen exposure technologies, we also produce um, purified allergens, um, which can be either natural allergens or genetically engineered allergens. And those allergens are used um, to improve allergy diagnostics and also to develop new um, allergy therapeutics, new kinds of vaccines, new, new ways of treating um, allergic disease. The production of allergens are important because we want to study how those allergens are affecting those individuals with allergy and asthma. And you need to have those products available to the researchers in those fields. The market for our products is basically from allergy researchers to companies who are producing immunotherapy vaccines. So we're now getting a lot more inquiries from universities in Eastern Europe and also a lot more business from Taiwan, Korea, Australia and places further afield. So we really have clients in most countries in the world. 95% of the allergen research worldwide used our products for allergen detection in the environment. We work with a lot of large studies from NIH, CDC, NIHS and um, HUD studies and also a lot of university epidemiological studies. We also have a separate branch which is our contract research services. We work with a lot of household cleaning product companies and also some mattress and casing companies. They want to test the efficacy of their actual products. They want to make marketing claims that it reduces a certain amount of allergens in the environment. And so they actually send their products into the lab and we go ahead and test those for them. The idea really was to develop a company that could not only produce useful products but could also be uh, continue to be active in the research field and that's why we continue to do cutting edge research. My role at Indoor is to um, do research, either basic research uh, on molecular structure of allergens or some applied research to develop some of the new products. This is the complex of uh, mite allergen that I've won here in Violet. If we are able to create a hypoallergenic form, 
then by increasing the doses during therapy, there will be less secondary side effects. Right now, we're working on developing uh, assays for stachybotrys and some other molds that are commonly found in uh, water damaged buildings. Developing a reliable assay for detecting molds will help us uh, determine the, the health risks associated with exposure to them. Still being a relatively small company, it's very important for us to have employees who like to multitask, who are versatile. That is almost essential part of being a young and dynamic company. What I like best about working here is the people I work with. We have a great team here, everyone works together very well, and we just have a lot of fun doing what we do. You never know what's going to happen the next day, so there's new, there's new things happening every day. Well, I like what I do. Um, and what we're doing then is helpful for other people and in the broad sense helpful to the whole field of allergy. It's great to have a product that is actually helping people and actually see a difference. We have a serious commitment towards helping patients with asthma and other allergic diseases. We're constantly looking for new ways in which we can um, introduce technologies that are going to help them manage their diseases um, and that ultimately we hope will, be, will have a curative role uh, if we can develop new vaccines. So so I think this is the way in which indoor biotechnologies was originally conceived um, to take advances in research and apply them to health and to patient care. And if we can continue to do that, I'm sure that we're going to continue to be successful.